Welcome to the morning meeting. My name is Jimmy, founder of John Boy Media, and this is a show about that. Maddie's here wearing a nice, uh, would you say pink or would you say fuchsia or would you say, what's the other term for light pink that salmon? I would say pink. Okay. Um, I would say pink. My outfit is kind of feels like a gender reveal now that I look at it. Well, we're kind of just Eastered up. Yeah past easter because i got kind of a thing on it looks bright in the in the camera yeah it does looks way brighter looks well, looks neon in the camera our special guest later gray so wow sam will be joining us uh if you follow the company at all you you know who sam is if you don't and you're just tuning in she has a really fun story about joining us and and doing one job and then the next and the next and the next until doing like every single job. And now we're trying to weed down to doing like less as uh, kind of the company grows and goes and all that stuff. We also had a bunch of guests recently. Obviously, Trey Turner came uh, two weeks ago. And yesterday we had Oswaldo Cabrera come to the office, uh, utility player for the Yankees. And we had Jimmy Herget come to the office, relief pitcher for the Angels, who then shut down the Yankees last night. That sucked. This is his second time coming. And we have two more Angels coming to the office today. So we're kind of putting that in motion, which was a goal to be able to host people and, and film when they're here and do fun shit. So that's cool. We can talk about that a little bit. This weekend is the ball and play tournament, our version of cricket and <clears throat> baseball combined we have six professional cricket players uh joining our teams and being uh part of that we had our big meeting yesterday where we walked through every single step of it also we've been playing uh video game cricket myself and jack myself and nikki cast played a little bit and we might bring that to the warehouse and uh, the domingo herman breakdown was a fun one that i made which where do you want to start before we bring Sam and which which topics should we tackle? Did I say we had a board meeting last night too? That was uh, the big business one. We had our not our first board meeting, but it felt like the first real it's board the first meeting. one that was here. No, we did another one that was here, but Courtney ran this one and she built a presentation uh, on the business side of things and and. Um, you know, what we've done, what we've accomplished, what we want to do in the future, levers we think we can pull and and all of that. And it was definitely the first one that felt like we had topics, we're talking about them, we're discussing things, uh, future plans, this, what's working, what's not, um, looking at the financials and all of that, which is good. And the process of prepping for that is like crazy and a little stressful and annoying not annoying actually it's just insightful and it's been so now that we're past it now it's like okay me Courtney and Jake have a meeting today and we'll have more meetings to kind of put things into action that we need and I have a meeting with the whole content team today um yeah during the board meeting do you have any questions yes. do you want to feed me questions and now I'll know what I what I you know want to share and don't want to share i do okay. uh during the board meeting yeah the race to 100k was officially won yeah what was their reaction i mean kevin <clears throat> smashed they loved out. it I, th they, I think they i mean that's like one of the best things we have going for us right yeah. now is like a, a fun culture here we also had our own spirit day which yeah. coincided with the board meeting which wasn't a plan that way. everyone wore a warehouse jersey yesterday in the office. Did we get any social videos or did anyone do any whip arounds? Like, I, I didn't no. seem like they. Oswaldo, when he took selfies with everybody, that video went out, but yeah. I, I didn't see specific. I thought about that last night. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. We didn't do the group picture. So on Monday, I came in and, you know, I think Zoe said to me, like, what the tournament's this weekend? Like, whoa. And, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of, you know, snuck up, on, snuck up on us in a little bit because for Blitzball Battle 3, that was it was such a we did so many things uh for blitzwater three that are for the warehouse the whole year like the new floor the new cameras all this stuff so it was just three months of like non-stop planning and talking about it and also there's more like um at stake because we have a little more pride in that that 
sport. So there's a lot of talk about it and the rankings and the matchups and all that. So when it became the week of Blitz Wild 3, it was like, whoa, it's yeah. tournament week. And everyone felt it. So I was talking to Caitlin, my wife, uh, at dinner. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I want it to feel that way a little more mm -hmm. um, and let people know like this is happening. And she said, why don't you have all the players wear their jerseys? And I was like, well, not everyone. I, I didn't know that the jerseys had come in. Right. And I was like, but we can just have everyone wear a team, uh, one of our franchise teams. And uh, we had our phones away from us at dinner. And I said, I need to slack that to the company right now. Did you, were you, did you, were you, did you see my first slacks when I just said breaking, breaking? I was the f eyeball emoji. Oh, I didn't know there was you or Kyle. I remember someone did mm -hmm. that. Did you think it was going to be something cooler than it's spirit week? I would never have guessed spirit week, but that was a similar vein. Yeah. If I type breaking, breaking, it's, yeah, not, it's serious. not serious. serious. Yeah. I also, I texted the ice boys first. I use Jack and Zoe as a sounding board sometimes because they're young mm -hmm. and um, they're also pretty honest. Were you nervous that it was like lame? Uh, I wasn't until <clears throat> until Jack called it Spirit Week, <laughs> yeah. but they liked it. They said, "What did I say? Should we have people show up in the warehouse jerseys tomorrow or Wednesday to get everyone in the spirit? Also good for social promotions." And Zoe said, "Tomorrow because we're not going to be around Wednesday, even though they're here now." Yeah, I said, he said, BB3 jerseys. I said, I think any jersey. I said, yeah. even non-players, if they've bought a jersey or own one before. And then Zoe said, yeah, I love it. And then I said, the sales team can wear their floorball jerseys, like a yeah. reunion. And then at that point, just me and Zoe going, I was like, sold. Yeah. But Zoe said he loved it. And I realized, like, we ha they have the hockey ones. So then we j I just punched it in Slack right away. And then yeah. Jake said, ball and play jerseys came. Jack Jack said, "Pep rally vibes. I love it. I thought it was fun. I think we should That's do that. Great. I think we should do that every time because yeah. <clears throat> it kind of lets people know, like, oh, this weekend there's a, there's something going on. No, that was awesome. Katie's so good at that stuff, like making everybody feel happy. Um, so that idea was perfect. Yeah, she loved doing that when she was here. Hey, how did the how did the um, office happy hour go where you watched the old vlog from the Bronx and, and Katie's exercise. Cause Katie was working in the office then and she would have everyone do these like group exercises for energy or morale or check-ins. Yeah, it, it went well. Everybody seemed, I mean, the vlog was probably 15 ish minutes. Everybody seemed to be, you know, engaged in watching that a few good. I mean, you guys built that shelf. That was that vlog. Do you remember that? You and Jake had to build a shelf in the Bronx office, and it was like the worst building ever. And did we do it in the front hot room? Uh, no, in oh. the where the seats were. Do you know what the vlog was called? Mm. It was on the main channel. John Boy yeah. Media vlog shelf. Yes, building a shelf. How to build a shelf is part. Eating of it. plantains and how to build a bookshelf is the name of the vlog. Yeah. So. You and Jake built a shelf that got some good laughs. I mean, Jake is posing on top of the shelf in a few unique ways. <laughs> um, but then after that, we all played the same website that you guys had played. And that got whew, nuts. People screaming, answers, this and that. Because it was like a trivia game. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is a quark? Oh, yeah. Wow. Were people a little shocked about the size of the office? Um, I think so. I, I didn't get like uh that super feel like people didn't come up to me afterwards and say anything and it's not like people were shouting things out necessarily um i think it would have been cool if we did like the how funny would it have been tour? if how funny would it have been if you said after you watched the vlog you said okay and you brought in four bookshelves you said pair up yeah that's so funny. <laughs> we're gonna race to build these bookshelves that would have been really funny. Yeah. We might have to tell Sam that one. Okay. The, tell her the idea and say that you blew it. Yeah. Um, any other questions about... Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe this is the filter, Maddie. You prep a lot of the topics. Sometimes I do. We've actually both, traded both. off sending. Yeah. And, and uh, if I have things I want to say, but other, otherwise, maybe you're a conduit for the audience of like... Because I'm not sure what people are interested in or what you're... So... Going back to the board meeting, which I think is what you're asking, the 
when you guys sit around when they hit the gong they were excited and i yes. i said we i was in the middle of talking about some accomplishments and i said and we just had our third channel get to 100,000 subscribers that's what they're celebrating um i also love that grat brought the gong in yeah. one of the one of the newer employees and he got a giant gong from his uh, roommate who they were giving away and he thought uh, let's add this to the office environment i love that he felt like he could do that there's a lot of companies where you're not if you're like uh, a you know, you're just not like asking a, a about corporate that. company or something you're not gonna be like hey i brought this gong in yeah. i don't think i don't think uh, but maybe they are i don't know i haven't been been around but yeah the gong's really loud very well that that's cool it's awesome because that channel hit 100k at like 455 so we were nervous the whole day we knew it was going to happen at some point but the 14th floor has a history of filing noise complaints but it came so that they probably were leaving or whatever. yeah yeah no i think they thought that was really cool to see and and all the jerseys they were like where's our jerseys and i mean courtney and i were like yeah we should have got board member jerseys um but, but for a board meeting i mean you guys sit around yeah are they mostly listening or are they like, oh, yeah, so, you should do this? Yeah, so there's 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 um, five people on the board. Courtney was presenting as um, COO and uh, the company. So she's, five outside people on the board. No, m- me and you, Jake are on the board. Oh. Um, and then there's three, um, two from investment groups and um, Brett, who is a corporate uh, brain on the board. And then CAA, when they invested, they got a... Um, a seat but not a vote there's a term for it mm. that i forget so there's six observer a board observer six people in there plus courtney and then and, and then they brought in another um observer that they asked and i said yes because just to get feedback from okay and yeah and then we're trying to just get them aligned right so like what what should the goals be where should we be um you're in a place right now where a lot of companies are not in a great spot like the you know especially in in the ad world in the ad world it's getting very competitive uh, prices are going lower there's there's less um going on some companies are trying to re-raise but it's a little bit of a, a down market right now um and how do we navigate that and and we did a lot of investing in the last couple of years and growing went from 30 employees to 60 employees so kind of letting them know where we're at like we've spent a lot on investing on employees, on creators, on uh, building the warehouse. So it's at like a set place. Um, and then we need to really focus on revenue driving now. Like you've, you've heard the meetings we've had about that. So just explaining to them some of the levers we think we have in place now with investing and building and, and building the employees and structures of uh, that we can like... Uh, now go pull that lever to use that phrase. It's, we keep using that phrase and, and add revenue streams there. So like Twitter has really helped out. That's a recent one because Facebook is currently not um, monetizing. Cause, and they said and they told they said they won't for a little bit. Like yeah, that's everybody who publishes on Facebook yeah. is like, what the fuck? Uh, but um, you know we don't activate our Instagram, and I and I really really. I'm excited to activate our Instagram and start doing in-feed ads and in-feed social series. So we've dabbled like Kenobio does the man on the street yeah. every now and then for DraftKings and, and they take that and it's a, a winner. But there's certain shows that, you know, and, and I, don't, I hope no one's like, we're not live. So it's great because I'm going to have a meeting with the whole content team we're after, not live. after this. Yeah. And I want someone to listen in and then we have the meeting because I'm addressing this to the whole company after there's there's certain shows or concepts that instead of saying let's do this on on youtube uh it's let's make this a social only series because sometimes it's not going to do great on youtube and whatever it can still do great on social and 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 then the average view of the socials is going to be better than the negative look of on YouTube. so like it's just a, a changing of the mindset and being way more open like I'm way more open to chasing ads and revenue now because we need to as a company. Like we're not, how I explained it was, you know, you get that first raise and it's awesome. You got to the, the big leagues. You need to hit and produce to stay there, to, uh, to show people that like you're real and to keep going. And not that we're not on path or projecting, but it's like at this point we're like, okay, let's 
pause and go and, and, and start now we put ourselves in a place to like, it's like we stretched and we warmed up and we brought the right clothes and like we entered, paid the entry fees to the race. Now yeah. let's go start running. Yeah. So that's where we're at. So we're really excited about a bunch of like things we can do to, um, attack ads and, and Instagram's wild because the social team has built a beast that we need to like tap into more. Yeah. I didn't really, our Instagram is going to break 750 soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the yeah. goal by end of 2023 is a million. And, and you know, like creators who have that many followers on Instagram make fucking crazy money Yeah, by doing ads on their story, yeah. ads in their feed. And we haven't done that. So we can do like, I'm, I'm open to just a, if it's just a straight read that we, that we do in a very silly, unique way. Yeah. Uh, but some people won't like that, but it's still, yeah. Some people will, you know? Right. Um, and then I'm also open to pitching, shows that are like this is a 10 episode series yep. and that's what i've been doing i've been like with the cash out i i i built a pilot episode and and a bunch and said this is what i want to do to DraftKings, and i'm offering them a fuckload yeah. for that because i want because i I think it's going to be fun and unique and they should want it because we're the biggest gambling part we're the biggest baseball content company or people and we're not doing and we're currently not doing like a a show and i have figured out a way that i think not only am i going to very much enjoy doing this it's not it's for people that don't they don't need to gamble to and be entertained by it because it's gonna be funny and silly and then if they want to join the team and, and minimally uh play along with us we're not like risking crazy money so i don't feel terrible about that and it's like a fun time. And I'm, I'm pitching them that we'll do live streams on the main channel. Yeah. Like, um, I, so that's where I, I would never have done that in the past. I'd be like, no way we're going to do a live stream on the main channel. People don't like that. They only like breakdowns there. And now I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. They need to go get revenue. Let's yeah. put it on the main channel. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So my brain has changed a lot in that way. Nice. And, and same with a bunch of other ads. Like, I think we added another ad slot to talk in uh, baseball. We added another ad slot to baseball today. And it's like we we need to we need to do that um, to keep going. And like we currently do thirty percent of what other companies in our space do yeah. as wise. Thirty hmm. percent. So it's like, well, let's see if we can go up to fifty, sixty, keep somewhat of like less, but also for um, sure attack it way more. Yeah, I think that's smart. I mean, for me, I didn't I didn't really listen to other podcasts or. Ex- shows etc outside of this network before i worked here so coming here that was just the norm well, three ads in an hour yeah. but now that i've started to listen to others to like get inspired i'm like holy cow there's a lot of ads here yeah. um uh the last question i have about the board meeting and then maybe we pull sam in uh <laughs> i think the this might be cliche but movie wise the board is like scary so mm. like the new movie air Nike's movie. Yeah. Did you watch it? No. So like a lot of that is one guy wants to put all of their basketball budget into Jordan and that's yeah. it. And that's like unheard of. And the whole thing is like, uh, Phil Knight is like, I can't bring that to the board. Like they're going to yeah. scream at me. Da da da. Steve jobs fired by the board at Apple yeah. in the nineties. Is that like, I don't think that that's the vibe, but is that like, is there those feelings of like fear? No, no. Um, I, I have, uh, we have, a, we ha yeah, no. Um, it's very much right now, like we're an infant, right? So you're not going to be overly cruel right. to the development of a child. Yeah. We're a new young company. I think when you become a public company and you have, people on the board that you have a huge board yeah. um, with many ideas. Maybe it gets like that. And I haven't experienced that yet. That that's not ours right now. We're all trying to find our footing, but you do have disagreements and in, in, in strategy. And there's been like certain strategies presented in the past that I, I didn't think we should, that would be winners that um, have, have, proven to not be winners and we, we never did them and, and said like, yeah you, you guys are right but there's other other areas where like i'm changing right now i'm like yes i've been wrong about this i've been too closed off right um like one is um 
getting um, big talent um, to do shows. And it's just really, really tough for that to work out where the shows... Because if, if you do a show once a week, you're never going to pay back your salary. Yeah. It, because, you know, the, the agents that represent them want them to do... Um, want them to max out their contract and then if you do one show a week say at most you can fit four ads in there you would need to be doing million views yeah for that to be worthwhile so i mean where we've gotten incredibly lucky with our like bigger names is trevor and chris rose who are absolute grinders like they do baseball today five days a week and trev does three talking baseballs and they do warehouse and and they have like multiple avenues. So that's where like we've been lucky, but you need to get stars, you need to get stars. Like was some, some, and I was like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't work out. Cause one, we need people that are fully bought in. And we have like, we have people that are bought into the company. They really like what we're doing. Um, but, and then there's other things like, uh, you know, another push was more publicity, like me going on, mm. on, um, like celebrity type stuff, which I don't like, I'm not comfortable doing. I don't know if there's how much value there is, but that's where I'm kind of at this point saying, okay, like I, I will do more of that if I can. And then it's, it's also changing. Like, but like Jake's better at that. And so is like even Trevor or Rose, like they're better at going on a show and talking with someone and being charismatic and, and overtly energetic. That's going to like do well. Like I'm, just kind of like a more wallflower shyer yeah. person. I'll sit and talk, but it's not going to go viral or anything. Right. Well, you did something like similar to that. At least uh, the people came with the documentary with your dad, right? Yeah, that was, I said yes to that mostly because my dad got to be part of it. And that's cool for us to do together. It was about game seven, uh, Aaron Boone's home run in game seven. I guess it's a whole new, se it's a whole new series coming out about game sevens. Yeah. And, uh, and we had talked a little bit about that before, but they had come Monday afternoon. Was it this week or the end of last week? Monday. Uh, Monday. Monday. Yeah. And did they just record your audio in there? Just audio. So it's going to be all archived footage. Yeah. Uh, and uh, our voices behind. And you do like an hour interview. They're probably going to take yeah. a couple sentences. Yeah. But it was good. It's cool. I mean, they asked like all the personal questions at first, like, uh, you know, how, how talk about how you, much you love baseball, how you got it from your dad, your connection with baseball and your dad. And me and my dad are two just saps. Like cry. If you ask me to talk about a happy childhood memory, I may cry. Yeah. Uh, just nostalgia, happy, sap cry. So at some points, it's just me and my dad like, looking away from each other. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Which is very funny, yeah. Nice. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to uh, chat with you about real quick, and then we'll bring Sam in and do the rest of the show with Sam, is uh, did you see Jeremy's note in the general slack about like... Yeah, that was awesome. I think he should do that more. And he oh, yeah. and what he did to tell the, uh, tell the listeners is he gave feedback on two ad reads that... Um, clients liked. That clients liked. And I always find that funny because one was, was mine that... Me and BBD really tackled it because Jake's voice was raspy and it was a new advertiser. And I'm like, oh, what did I say? I don't know. Because it, it does come natural to me just to kind of riff real quickly. But um, but it's nice for people to to see that. And, and I always forget this and I want to remind our creators again over and over again. And maybe the sales team should. That like when you get a first mm -hmm. ad from a company. So yeah. we got one on the show from Roan, a company that does comfort clothing. And they loved what I they loved what I said because I was like I can I can do this I like being comfortable. Um, you always forget that there's a salesperson, there's a seller, there's a company, there's someone at that company who's a fan of the show. Yeah, and like buys it because they like us. Yeah. So when we get ice gets one like, and then there's people that they're watching like pe like that's oh they they're doing it they're doing it. Um, like this is our first ad on the show and it seems conceited i think to think that as a creator like people are like people are excited about this like it's like when um michael k first dropped my name on this yeah. network and i filmed it and sent it to my parents i don't think they're doing that because it is their job but they're tuning in and i forget that and i you for first time like we need it's a big reminder hey like these this is how it works yeah and if you want to return 
you the first couple you have to nail and and it's also awesome because the audience who wants to support you and is maybe not going to go support every company that's an ad but they're going to perk up and be like oh which is this one and maybe I, maybe it's for me mm-hmm. when you say hey we got a new one they're like oh what is it and that's what i did but i did it naturally i didn't have that full thought out right um and and, and chris rose has been uh really good feedback on this front about adding more ads like when we asked about and he was like and he, courtney and him had a conversation and he was like listen the ads are how this whole thing works and he's he asked if do you want me to chat with other creators and like just like let give them my the perspective and um i didn't talk to him but i I'd say, corny absolutely because he's so respected and for such a seasoned veteran who's been doing this forever to to pass that message to the younger kids like hey don't don't like shrug or be like oh we gotta do this like no you you get to do it because yeah. you've built something that people want to uh, support yeah so it's it's just a different mindset that like and you do you forget when you're just reading them and you're like fuck that i shouldn't just read this people paid for this because they want to they want yeah our community to hear it so it's a reminder to not be jaded and and, and get back into that like hungry proud grind yeah. which i think is what doing the board meeting and, and, and the kind of resetting is, and what I'm hoping to instill in the mm-hmm. meeting today with all the creators of like, let's get after it guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's bring Sam in. Pick on her a little bit. Oh, Kenobio. Kenobio. Yeah. Kenobio has been so great. He's on his way to Vegas right now. He is, he is, um, he's been so, uh, grateful. Like he texted me and Jake the other day and said like, like, thank you so much for, giving me the pregame show opportunity on talking Yanks. Mm-hmm. And when we first offered that, I wanted people to know like, Hey, this is a big audience that we're like, yeah. don't like half ass this or like do it as like, Ugh, I guess I'll just eat the minutes here. And his like response is like, Whoa, what an opportunity. Like, thank yeah, you. He's so great. So that's been really cool to see and read. So thanks Dan. Hi Sam. Hello. You can leave that in, I guess we'll give Dan Definitely some, some love. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us. Happy that to be here. Usually you sit there on morning and co. No, not that exactly Morning and Co., but yes, Girls and Co. Sometimes. This is Morning and Co. Okay. Usually Rebrand. you sit there on Girls and Co. Yes, I do. Yeah. I invited you on the show. Yep. Yeah. They've never invited me on Morning and Co. You have to be asked to be invited is the rules we set up. I haven't been asked to be invited. You have to ask yourself. Okay. We have questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, you guys came up with them or other people came up with them? Other people didn't come up with them, but I wanted to do that, but I got tired last night, but I wanted to put on like Insta story or, or somewhere or like on this episode, if we have, or YouTube comments, where do you think the people would respond the most? If we're like, Hey, this is who we're chatting with next week. Uh, Give us some questions. Uh, your probably story. your Instagram story. We just don't know who we're talking. If someone to has to farm through, through that. And I, I mean, you know. can give it to me. Oh, but okay. I would need your phone at some point. And in the future, show. I'm going to be live on Instagram live. I heard. we're not on AMP anymore. I cool. think. We'll see. We're not live today. We're not live today, Sam. So you can okay. say all the stuff and then say erase Retract. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, this says, what about her past? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write that. Did I? <laughs> no. Uh, I did a, I did my, I did a uh, norm improv. impression. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We tell them where we first met for people that oh. have no idea. Okay. So we first met um, at the winter meetings in Vegas in 2019, mm-hmm. I think. Um, I, was a, I was a big fan. I was a Patreon member. Like, I was obsessed. And then I got my best friend Sarah on the same wavelength as me. Both of us uh, were seniors in college at University of Tampa. Came to the winter meetings to try to get a job. Uh, and then I knew you guys were going because you were tweeting about it. You really had no much of business being there as like media members at that point. Yeah. And then um, we, I think it was like the first day, saw you guys in the food court of like the Mandalay Bay Hotel. And we, Sarah and I were being such losers, like just looking at you guys, looking away, like not sure what to do or how to <laughs> act or like if we can go say something. And then eventually I think we had just made eye contact one too many times. I'm like, Sarah, like we got to go say something. This is so awkward. So we go up, we say hi. Um, and then uh the the winter meetings in the hotel like it's just three days of crossing the same people all day yeah, and you guys didn't know anyone we really didn't know anyone so if, every time we cross paths you just like say hi and you have a familiar face and we just kind of kept interacting and then i think we saw you guys are like jake at the sports book one night um yeah it was the then, vegas one yeah. yeah we sat with you you yeah. and everyone from tampa for yes. a while yes yeah, yeah yeah um and then and you gave me a button 
Oh yeah, Sarah gave you the Gary yeah. button. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I think we like exchanged contact information for no really reason in particular, just I don't know to to be friends. And at that point, I had no clue that you ever had like thought to b- making this a media company or that I would ever get to that. Um, we were just you know like being friendly, and then we go back down to uh, school for spring semester at Tampa. Sarah and I both uh, worked for the Yankees, and then um, I you guys. Where I guess I like, kind of starting out and we're trying to like make some sales on some shows. So you asked Sarah and I to um, do like as good of a job as we could trying to yeah, sell yeah, ads. to local like companies. Yeah, since you guys would be there. Since for we were going to be there, and sales is like really hard. It was kind of like an impossible task. Like now looking at how sales works, yeah. like, that's a ridiculous thing to ask you guys to do. Yeah, but it was fun. We tried. I think we made <clears> one sale by like the very end of the year. Yeah, and you made a connection with something that could have worked out, and Jake and I actually had like a big disagreement on it because I was like, "No way! Oh, really? We can't do that." I think it was the the, like uh, Hall of Fame tours, the baseball tours. Yeah, yeah, which would have been like a big, not big, but a decent chunk of money to do something. And I think Jake wanted Jake wanted to do it, and I said, "I can't." Yeah, because that would take me away from three games of coverage, and what if a moment happens, and that was the moment of Savages that same weekend. Whoa! But it was just a fundamental disagreement of like i was like i was saying no to a lot and like we can't we have to build up our base but it was you guys who brought that in yeah but it was like fill up a tour bus and jake and i are on the for three days yeah and at that point i didn't miss games Mm -hmm. from like pre-game show to post-game show i was in my chair with three different computers yeah and to take me away from that i was like i can't that's how i have that's how why this is growing but yeah, you guys did get that. I remember the first time we like emailed or text, you responded like, why? Why us? Did I? Something like that. Like, I just want to know, like, why Why are you choosing us? That's so funny. That's probably advice my dad gave me. I have no recollection of that. And we were like, well, you seem very organized. And oh, you were trying to get, you were trying to get jobs and we yeah. need help. And you guys know who we are. And yeah, I think I remember that. That yeah. might have been in the Top Golf parking lot. Ooh, Top Golf. We went oh, to yeah. Top Golf when you guys came. The next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we paid you for the first. Yeah. The, the yeah. You guys cut me check in the um, gift shop of Sam Burner Field. Yeah. For the, the, the one deal or a couple yeah. deals that you did. Nice. Yeah. And then when we were hiring, I guess the first round we were looking like for such positions. It was like we needed a videographer. Zach was our first call. We, BBD full time. And then we needed some editors yeah. that was kind of we was like five positions i think yeah. that we hired um and then once we got or halfway through we needed someone to run the patreon because i was like i hate taking people's money and not actually offering them anything mm-hmm. and it was really helping us a lot paid like some smaller bills yeah and that was when we called because it was like the season was about to start mm-hmm. i think yeah it was uh it was december and it, rounds of interviews are like paralyzing still to this day it's just like that's such a a time suck to interview yeah. so many people um and jake and i are like let's just see if sam or sarah can do it because we trust them and we think they're like hard workers and that was like the best jake was like she said i think she said yes for, i think you said like yeah yes, I like right away no <clears> job leads we were living in florida uh, at that point, I had left my Florida, job in Maryland. Florida and I was back home in Maryland for like three months trying to find a new job and had no prospects, was done living at home. And I wonder if we had checked in with Sarah or, or you just like chatting and knew that you were not. In- yeah, because I had came to I came to visit Sarah in October when I was out of a job. She was living here working for the NFL at the time. And um, I Jake had known because I was like, oh, maybe I'll apply for this internship with the twins and um, or the brewers. And, you know, you, we are, the company's friendly with the brewer. So I had Jake, you know, like kind of put in a oh, word. Oh, yes, yes. So Jake knew. Yeah. Sarah was with the uh, NFL. So she, And she was in New York. Yes. So we also thought, maybe she would move here too because Sarah already did it. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I remember it was like, awesome. Like, thank God. Yeah. I accepted that so quickly because I had no other options. Also you were, because you were I wor- to work here. You were working at a... I was at, I, after college, I moved back to Florida and worked at a country club. Fiddle then, Six Country then Club. COVID hit. Or... Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah I was there for like almost about a full year, and then COVID hit. Yeah, and it was a 
country club full of older membership doing events so it wasn't any of that and even by the time that COVID happened and the job sort of changed I was didn't want to be in Florida I wanted to work back in sports so it all just like kind of aligned um yeah, yeah. but that's just crazy that you you moved to New York City when COVID yeah it wasn't uh you could leave and go to the office but it was still it was still like yeah so quiet everywhere quiet, yeah, quiet everywhere city, yeah so I don't think that was like lost on Jake and I were like holy shit that's a huge thing but we were so happy yeah um, it was nice though because i didn't even because that, that i think jake texted in like middle of december and then you guys wanted me there by like january so it was nice that i also didn't really have time to overthink or question or whatever and i was like yeah sure yeah it's much easier to get people to like do you really want to do this yeah. because we need you quick yeah um yeah that was awesome and then when you started you were it was really I mean, maybe everyone that started at that time was like, hey, we need your help here, but it's it's all hands-on. Like, it's whatever mm-hmm. happens. So you were doing um, the Patreon, which we stopped once we got the funding. We stopped because, again, I just don't like taking and not actually offering. Yeah. And you were, you were we had, like, a Instagram. So you were, like, a behind-the-scenes yeah. for Instagram mm-hmm. feed. You would keep up with the names, uh, prizes, Polaroids. the Polaroids. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Oh, Sam, we got to take 20 Polaroids today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least that, that's how photos. like that was probably the Polaroid session when it was like, oh, OK, Sam, like can boss us around, which we need. Yeah. And because you were like, come on, guys, one more, one more pack. And then we do one more pack and you'd be like, OK, one more. I'm like, oh, you <laughs> son of <a> fuck. <laughs> OK, just getting blinded for people that got the Polaroids. That's really cool. I thought that was a unique. It was a giveaway. great idea. <clears throat> but we started wearing like sunglasses because the flash was just yeah. blinding. It would hurt my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Ha- and then. <laughs> was it because Katie was pregnant? Like, was that your first kind of like taking on more? Yeah, you definitely probably helped in the office. But Katie was <clears throat> somewhat office manager. Yep. But she was pregnant and phasing out and you yeah. two sat next to each other. Yes. Yeah. Which is a good time. Um, yeah. So and I kind of like learn what she did or you know, she'd share passwords like to Amazon to order snacks or little things like that or, you know, to be in charge of the water deliveries or anything. So kind of you know, or days when she was sick and didn't come in or just working from home, I could just fill in um, because it was just like quick and easy to do some of her tasks. Um, And then when she fully went on maternity, we had like a sit down meeting because then I helped take over some of the um, invoicing that she would do or all the other trillion things that she would do. Yeah, you were doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Along with the the random other like little things that that she did or that would just fall on her desk because it wasn't, couldn't really go to anyone else. Are you wired that way? for whatever job like when you were at the country club you're you yeah, wired was, to take it, on anything and yeah it doing. was very similar um the country club i was in the department of happiness um again oh that's it where you was, get that from yeah um yeah that was a real thing just because it was also still kind of the catch-all department it was like the front desk like when members walked in or people yeah. walked in we were like those greeting people and then we answered the phones and that could have been anything um and then it was you know events and taking dinner reservations and helping the pro shop and doing all that um so yeah, I guess I feel like that I, I learned it from that job and just in general, I feel like I'd always just want to be helpful and help move things along in any way. Did you know when you joined that we would be, it would be bigger and like it would get to this? Like what was your vision? Yeah, for? I mean, I, I think I, I think that's part of the reason why I ex- like agreed to it so fast is because I fully like believed in what we were doing and thought it was awesome and thought it was great and saw like so much potential um not that i ever necessarily thought like oh like maybe in a couple years we'd have a new office or ever have the warehouse or anything like that but i was just fully ready for it to keep getting bigger and bigger and i remember i think on one our first phone call of an interview you're like yeah we probably won't have you know patreon forever or this forever but like they'll always you know be probably something else and when you said that i was like oh well if my job won't be around forever i should do something to make me have Mm, to be around forever so i told i remember telling my parents that I just tried to do whatever I could to be indispensable. And uh, and then that was you my had plan. like 20 jobs. Yeah. And that was my plan. And then I had to start taking them away from you. And you're like, get mad at me. I can do it. Like, I, yeah. know, I know you can, Sam. <laughs> I don't need you to. Yeah. Do you know that your your personality is very similar to my younger sister? Yes, you heard me you say, say that a lot. Time. Yeah. It's very weird, though. Sometimes yeah. I talk to her and I talk to you and I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Because my other two siblings work here. Yeah, so I'm like, wow, so there's Ritzy. Yeah. If you guys ever meet, she, you're probably going to be like standoffish against each other because I know how that personality works. I like, wonder. Oh, I'm like you. <laughs> I really wonder. 
Well, because you always say I'm very <laughs> short and curt, and that's what Maddie started to say about <clears throat> me. Only when we're on the like phone. Like if we're playing a game, if we're if we're having family dinner, and then we're kind of just like moseying around uh, down the shore, my younger sister be like, okay, are we playing a game? Come on, if you're not playing a game, I'm going to bed. And I'm, yeah. that's how like you, you yeah. are. Like, I think, keep, I, let's go, let's yeah. go. I think my issue is I never want to like overstay my welcome or like just be like linger too much. And I was like, all right, let's just end this now before you get annoyed with me. Yeah. Or anyone gets annoyed with me. That's funny. I think that's like the one personality trait that is funny. Yeah. That is, that is similar. Um, all right. Then when we do the warehouse now and you're like one of your main gigs is planning the tournaments and mm -hmm. like helping me kind of like I was explaining to the board. They're like, who's who's helping with like creative on that channel? Because uh, the board, they like believe that the warehouse or our own IP is what makes our ceiling bigger. Mm -hmm. Like you can just be a podcast media company and there's a ceiling there that's pretty good and you, you would get investment like they invested before this but their eyes go like whoa that can be huge and they asked who's helping on on creative and i was like well it's kind of still my baby and like what yeah. we're doing and i i bounce off jake and and people of like what but i said but execution i have like sam helps me really execute the structure mm -hmm. is that something you uh i guess my first question is like do you see the vision there or you're like what the fuck are we doing no, or, no. or at what point did it click in because i feel like no one did for a while i was yeah the first one we did i was screaming it and no one understood kind of yeah um yeah never thought never uh, maybe because in my head back alley at bath started so randomly mm. which probably maybe it wasn't to you guys um so then i'm no like, that was that was okay. just to not be pieces of shit when yeah. we did it at All Star Brink. We we sold the All Star game, uh, and Jake and I are like, we can't. Yeah, like, let's see how this ball works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe because that started so just like kind of haphazardly, I was like, all right, we're gonna get a whole go to play in a warehouse, and especially seeing the <clears> warehouse the very first time ever when it was still the racks of carpet. I was like, I I couldn't. I'm sometimes bad at visualizing, especially you know things you think about, but just in general. So I'm like, how. What is this orientation going to be like? And then the first um, blitz ball I helped plan and then got COVID the day before. Yeah, that stunk. So I couldn't even go until the very last day. So that was even still kind of like wishy-washy in my head. Um, but maybe after, maybe after, I don't know, like I, I think very quickly I understood how it's tricky doing content off of, you know, MLB with just with or, or, or any league just with their restrictions and then also just based on the like the roller coaster of a season, how, you know, we don't want to have yeah. the off season. We don't want to have if the Yankees are doing bad, no one's going to listen or or like um, variables like that. So it makes a ton of sense being able to just do our own thing and have our own designs and not have to have any of those other ex external worries. Yeah. So I, I, I fully like really get it now. And especially when we you like i think had once compared it to like you know wwe or things like that where it just has more of a a framework of like oh i get how this can just be a ceiling and people uh, could buy not in. that yeah. we're gonna be that but yes the ceiling is like infinite yeah and i you know at the board meeting yesterday i were telling them things we're excited about and blitzball battle for what we, we want to do um and it have in-person audience for it mm -hmm. locally and I guess once Bond plans, that's going to be, we should yeah. start that meeting. To scout venues, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I was explaining that to them, and they were excited about that. And you talk about the flow of MLB season. It's like, well, if that's the case, that we can get a gymnasium or a uh, convention center, center yeah. that is our way to tackle January or mm -hmm. um, end of November, December, and do two and then during the year, do them in our warehouse, but tackle the down months in yeah. our ebb and flow. So, like, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that becomes a big thing. And yeah. for the Blitz about a 4 1, this is a new that you don't know. Mm -hmm. I want each day to, it's like a more of a content convention for the people that buy tickets. So, you're going to get to see four. Let's ball battle games. In between the games, you're going to, on day one, it's going to be a Talking Yanks live show and yeah. QA. And day two, a talking baseball live show and Q and A. And day three, uh, jolly trivia and Rose show. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Because everyone's going to be there, mm -hmm. and that's why we get people that might just like talking Yanks, but now they can come and maybe they get hooked on the other stuff because they see it mm -hmm. in action. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's cool. the new concept. Is it's like, and then we'll have like a pop up shop for merch and 
Yeah. Like really make it like a JM convention more so than like just this one thing. Nice. Like a JM con. That's cool. Yes. Con. That's short for convention. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. even really think about that. But yeah, that's cool. How is it getting uh, booking everyone? Like people don't know that you do that. Yeah. Um, it's fun. Um, sometimes it's very not fun. Sometimes it's just tricky. Like just finding finding where to start like to to find someone that has that criteria so it's sometimes just a lot of like scrolling on instagram and following webs of like oh this person's cool who do they follow who have they tagged in photos and sometimes going about that way or searching on youtube because that's kind of been a priority of finding people if people have that that sort of audience yeah. that will will shift to watching something else that they're in of the same time length um or then i've started like with code names i just brought in people that i enjoy mm -hmm. um and like some, having someone like nikki super helpful because he's very well connected so like nikki brought in the san Agato guys um for code names so that's really cool Code names two to, is, i mean code names one is funny code names two is very funny yeah um like there's got to be social clips galore off of off of that which is gonna be cool the, the the newest the newest one yeah yeah it hasn't come out the first, past one was really funny too but yeah the full group of, yes of um the basement yard yeah yeah it will be it hysterical yeah. yep um so yeah nikki's really helpful for things like that um and then yeah it's so yeah sometimes it's tough um and then just dealing with like uh, before um before I came in here, Darren Sammy's agent emailed me and was like, hey, uh, Darren's wife's feeling a little sick. Like, we'll let you know how that plays out. Ah. And I'm like, all right, great. Um, so there's like, you know, things like that can be really frustrating because it well, always, I hope she's feeling better. That's what I said. To her. But there yeah. are, it always happens. You always yes. like, you always lose a player right before. Yeah. Um, and for cricket, we had a lot, but it was international. So that a lot fell through. Yeah. For floorball, we have some really fun guests lined up or at least some locked in potential locked yeah. in. Yeah, but so but it's really cool to use that time that chance to expand the the network and the family and the friendships and um, show them a, a really really cool weekend. Um, yeah, that's the difference with this one coming up. Where did you like Spirit Week? By the way, we talked about that earlier. Yes, in the show. I thought it was a great idea. I think we should think of. I wish I thought more of ways, like I, or just a little bit more, like um, do it closer. Like yeah. I would have done it today, but the uh, uh, Zoe and. Jack, Jack and weren't going to be here, but now that now they are going to be here. Yeah. But like um, next time we should fill out brackets. Yeah. We should have everyone fill out, this, fill out a bracket in the office yeah. and just really like show it more or yeah. show or like on the, oh, on the TV. TV have the old one. Look, can we do that? Yeah. Can we have um, yeah. the first the five episodes the of the tester blast. league, the tester league just running on in the yeah. office today. That's that'll get people in the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying that to Jake like last Friday. I was like, I mean, it's. It, on myself too. I was like, oh, I keep forgetting like bomb plays next week. That's what I'm trying to, yes. I'm trying to build ways of, it's not that like, I don't want to bug people about it, but it's like, hey, like this is exciting. Reminder, like, this is yeah. coming up. I don't want it to feel so secondary because yeah. we have guests. We have so many people yeah. that are coming to the works for the first time that I want to show them like a good time, especially these cricket players. They were not going to beat out the leagues they play in. They play in the UAE league and the uh, uh, New Zealand, you know, they yeah. go around league who probably do this with the budget of mm -hmm. hundreds of millions, but we can show them on a small scale. Like, yeah, that we're professional. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's a cool opportunity to like be the person to, to find people or invite people or, or show off to. And then, yeah, sometimes it's tricky, but I do enjoy that, um, aspect. Now, the last question on the list here is, uh, are you ready for floorball too? Oh, I'm so As ready. a player. Yes. I'm very, I actually played field hockey over the weekend, which uh, is good, but also bad because it's really completely different. I think after ball and play, we need to bring sticks to the office. Yeah, we have a couple floating here, but I'll bring more yeah. and I'll bring my stick. Matt, he doesn't like it. Uh, yeah, we'll bring the goal. I'm, I'm very excited. I was ready for it after um, the first one ended. And but you're worried about my paternity leave hindering my no, ability. I'm not worried. It was a question I brought up, and See I, how was, she said, I was just no, curious. I'm not worried. Was exactly I was how my curious. younger sister would say. I was curious as to how things like that. You think my brain gets that. tricky. I'm like, whoa, shit. Well, that's how we all feel with you and Luke. What? That you guys are just the same, or that's how I feel. There's so many things that one. I don't one play with my beard. Say. No, but there's just some things that Luke will say that will be like, oh, that's just you know. To yeah. that you guys do and it's funny um, we are very similar yes um, no, i was, first, so I was just, just copying me. simply curious as to how you think it'll affect my stamina 
No, I, I see positive to both things. You either haven't haven't worked up in time at home, ready to go out and do fun things and get some energy out, or you're. I think we need to have some practice sessions beforehand because there's no way to do that type of cardio besides doing that type of cardio. Yes. Like you could run shuttle sprints, but still not gonna help because it's all the zigzagging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm very ready. Um, I would like to beat Nick's team again, and um, I think it'll be really cool because the we're, we're leveling up the playing field and also just leveling. We're leveling the only it out team that's not getting better, which is scary. Yeah, we're gonna be the only complete returning team. Yeah, and that you know, Blitz, but we Blitz Battle one, we made it to the championship, and then we uh, Blitz Battle two didn't. So yeah, that's what people are gonna expect. And Kraus, like we're old, you're young. Yeah. So we gotta, you gotta score. I I plan on it. Hopefully. I'd like to be in a little better shape. That was right at the start of me losing weight. I don't know if that helps my stamina. And then John started ordering all you pliables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's we'll get him me. back That's on, on your diet. And yeah, well, okay, I'll go to the warehouse any time to play. I'll set, set the floor down. the rink up a, a month earlier. I'll do it myself. Well, I think we're setting up like three weeks early, right? At least, yeah. I, I think it was going to be in July. It's like the beginning of July and four balls the first week. Should do it the first uh, three weeks of July. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for that. I think it'll be a lot of fun um, and to see who else we can get. Because right now we have, I'm really excited to fill out all the women's spots, the female spots. Um, and then, because there's still five female spots open and I think there's like three or four other male spots i don't necessarily want to fill with the rest of hockey people a because they'll be really super good but also just to because yeah. then we have like nikki and, and dalton and, yeah we don't we and ben yeah. who aren't yeah, we that skilled, spread, and so we wanna, and the worm burners are getting broken up a little bit yes but then we're adding jacob Oli's partner who but he'll be on just, another team yeah but he'll be just as good and kmx team's gonna be good yeah but i, I just don't want again like you know Dal um kenobio and nikki and ben Denucci to be is Denucci playing mm -hmm. he is yeah, remember when Nikki asked us, like, can Ben come back? Because I think Ben asked him to come I back. I thought there was a stipulation, like, only if X and X and X. Oh, I don't know. I'll ask Nikki. That's awesome if he is. He was great. I was under the impression he And he was. totally loved it. He had yeah. everyone sign his jersey. I, and he was, like, so friendly and nice. I'll text Nikki right now, but I'm pretty sure Ben was like, I want in. But maybe there are a couple of things. I don't know what the XFL season is like. Our caveat, our new rule that we're making for floorball that I don't want to say now because we're so far away from it airing. Yeah. Is really, yeah. really fun. Yeah. I think it'll be, I think it'll be really cool. Hopefully, and I know Rosie has some conflicts. Hopefully Rosie can come back too. We have to figure that great. out. Yeah. If not. Can ask him this weekend. There, if not, I have a short list of people that we should uh, contact that for hockey play-by-play. -play. Cool. I have, a, I have a little one too, but it's probably not as good. I have one name. And I don't know if it's good or great, but it's okay. You can tell me after. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that that'll be really, uh, really super cool. And it's just a good. Um, I think floorball is a good just change of pace for people, too, in the warehouse. It's a totally different vibe. They're all different vibes. That's what I want them yeah. to be. Like that's why I, yeah. in the meeting about ball and play yesterday, I said, "Hey, like BB three was raucous, and there was stuff everywhere, like mm -hmm. fans and flags and bunting and people banging bats, and and everyone's like." You know, there's just so much to look at. Like we were like recreating a raucous environment. But for cricket, I want it to be more of like um, a Sunday day game feel. Mm -hmm. So I don't, the players don't have to do chants, don't have to yell. It'll be more quiet. And yeah, I, I, I think it's important to do that. So it's not just the same note every yeah. time, but we can tackle different. Because um, it's very similar. It's like playing, sport, playing in the warehouse, but it's just different energies. Yeah. Um, it's a very different game. Floorball will bring fans back. Yeah. And then BB4, if we do it from a live audience, it should be crazy. Yeah, I think that, that could be really fun. I really enjoy our events with people. Yeah, we should be doing some more in the future. All right, we got to go because we have guests coming. Thank you nice. for joining oh, us for on uh, the morning meeting building JM. Fantastic. Maddie's on it too.